Victoria has a breakthrough with Claire, and Victor interrogates Cole. In her room at Memorial, Claire dreams that Jordan is there telling her she'll never escape her. I'm burned in your soul, forever. Claire awakens with a start to find Victoria there. She tells her daughter, it's okay, you're not alone. Victoria knows it couldn't have been easy seeing her aunt and confronting her. She knows she wanted some sort of resolution, am I wrong in thinking that you achieved your goal? Claire isn't so sure. She knows the worst of it's behind her, but there's still so much more to do that it scares her. It's like a cancer we have to treat. The healing process won't happen overnight. Victoria tells Claire she's rebuilding her life and creating a new you. She's doing well and has made great progress already. She now knows she can survive without Jordan, which is a big step in her recovery. Claire worries that even if they let her out of there, what happens to me then? Victoria says that when she gets out of there, they'll take it slowly, get to know each other, and Claire can decide if she wants to be a part of their family. Claire already knows about the Newmans. They hold a lot of grudges against each other. Victoria thinks she'll have to see for herself how loyal, loving, and kind they can be. Claire laughs, are you saying I'd be part of the Newman family? That would be Victoria's hope. Claire asks, what about my dad? Would he be part of my new life too? Cole arrives at the ranch after a summons from Victor, who tells him now that his daughter with Victoria is alive it changes everything. So, I think steps ought to be taken. Cole argues it's too soon, but Victor disagrees. It's never too soon to prepare. I need you to tell me what I need to know. What are your intentions in regard to Claire? Cole looks amused. He tells Victor he's just doing everything he can to provide the care she needs. Victor asks about him putting his career and life on hold. Cole was on a sabbatical to write a book, so there's no urgency for him to return to Oxford. Claire needs him here. Whatever happens, he plans on being a part of his daughter's life. Victor surmises that he's moving back to Genoa City. Cole replies, for the time being, and asks Victor what he plans to do. Victor points out that Cole hasn't raised a child. Is he ready for this responsibility? Cole has no choice but to do whatever he can to help heal Claire's pain. Victor empathizes. But he wants to make one thing clear, as much as you're concerned about your daughter, I'm concerned about mine. And nothing and no one will take precedence over her well-being. Lauren joins Nikki in her office and guesses she's spoken to Jack by now. They just want her healthy and sober. Lauren imagines Nikki feels by her decision to tell Jack and would do it again. Nikki tells Lauren she's not angry with her, she's angry with herself. Lauren urges her to focus on her recovery. Nikki has to do it on her own without dragging other people into it. Lauren wouldn't want her to face this alone. Nikki insists she's managing well and hasn't drank again since she came to her rescue. Lauren warns the war isn't over. Nikki is aware, she just has to keep fighting.